Hello and welcome to Cam Lamb's technical department. Today we are going to fit bolt on dampers. What you'll need for this job is a screwdriver, a 21mm ring spanner which is spark plug spanner size to a lot of you, a 10mm open ended spanner, two 10mm open ended spanners and a 13mm open ended spanner. For this job we'll use a 21mm ring spanner to undo the spindle nut which is nice, a nice easy one for a change see this is a nice restored scooter ok we'll undo the spindle nut take that away and then we want to take the the washer out of the recess as you can see like that, take that clean away and then we need to fit that behind the bottom damper bracket which goes behind like this ok back on fits in place nice and easy and then replace the spindle washer behind it ok when it goes on there spin that back up tighten it up checking that the washer is in the recess of the disc link or the damp or the um, drum link whichever you use do it nice and tight and then that, that bit's done. Two types of damper kit there's the weld on type and the bolt on type. The weld on type which a lot of people prefer because it looks more original is placed here square to the fork leg and level just below the fork stopper weld mark as you can see there's a little indent there and it goes just below that square and you weld it there bolt on type which is basically a clamp which clamps around the fork leg at the top you undo like so and then you position this again below the fork stopper indent like so and then place the bolt through and it's important that when you put the bolt through that you hold it with a 10mm open ended spanner on the shoulder and a 13mm spanner on the other side otherwise you could strip the bolt. Okay, as you can see, 13mm spanner, 10mm open ended spanner. Hold and tighten one against the other. Not going too mad. Nip it up gently. Don't go overboard. So it clamps up nicely. Tighten it on there. And you can see that the clamp is aligned and all ready for fitment for the damper you can see here's a fitment of the bracket on the opposite side just so you get an idea of what position it's in okay we're going to fit the dampers we'll just show you two types the stainless type and the original type today we're going to fit the original silver type okay the first thing to do as with a lot of these dampers is to fit a penny washer behind there so it stops the rubber bush from popping out sometimes and then you can fit it and fit one over the top if you want to or for the original boys you can just fit an M6 wavy washer over there and then a nice plain M6 nut and the same goes for the top you can fit in it a penny washer M6 penny washer underneath and again, for the standard people, an M6 wavy washer and nut. Uh, tighten those up and you're away. Thanks for watching. Here we go with the finished article. Thanks for watching. And don't forget our next technical preview at lambretta.co.uk.